Hey, what's up, Amphanax? This is TechFanax9 from AndroidRoots.com. So you can see I got another great ROM review, uh, and it's called Xenon HD. And you may have heard of this before from my channel because I did do another ROM review earlier um, when I was first starting off during the summer. And now I'm going to uh, do another recap of Xenon HD just because it's been a while since I did another update of this ROM review. And just because it's running on the latest 4.2.1 Jelly Bean as well. So let's go ahead into settings and then we'll go ahead and check it out. So as you can see, we're running on a Xenon HD right there. So we got HD Xenon right there, and you're at 4.2.1 Jelly Bean right there. So that's a great bonus right there. And you can see right away, let me see zoom in once again. You can see um, the navigation buttons right down there are changed. So you can tell right away that there's going to be uh, modifications and changes made to this ROM, which I really do like. And I do love this ROM. It's I think it's an awesome ROM, a very good ROM too. Um, oh, let's go back in settings one more time, and then we'll go into ROM settings. And here is where all the magic happens. <laughs> so you got all these uh, customizations, everything you can do right here. Um, this is the place where you're going to be a lot. So let's say I want to do status bar toggles, right? And now we can uh, obviously change the toggles, toggle order and toggles now per row. Let's do uh, five per row. So now you're going to have five in the same row. So you can make them smaller, obviously. So you have customization to toggles. Um, we can actually, uh, let's do a couple more. Um, let's go in general UI and see what's there. Um, I actually like this one. So if you're, um, if you want a custom boot an animation and this uh, ROM does not come with their own custom boot animation for the 4.2.1. But if you want to make your own or you want to get someone else's, you know, just ask them. But you can obviously just choose custom boot animation and then open up and you can just find the file where your boot animation is located and you can obviously just get it right away. And you also have the option to disable boot animation, which is actually pretty good because it can make your um, boot up uh, time a lot faster. Not a lot faster, but noticeably uh, faster as well. Um, and I, re I rechanged my custom carrier, so it's TechFanac9 right there. So like I said, you can do a lot of things. Um, allow 180 rotations. So let's see if that works on the home screen. All right, so that does not work on the home screen, but it it'll probably work in other apps. Oh, also another thing I changed is I enabled RAM here, so I can see how much RAM I'm using and how much is free. So if I kill this, it should become more. It should, but um, you can tell that it's uh, changing and all that. All the RAM's working. So I like this RAM. A lot of things you can do with this RAM. Uh, works very great. Oh, let's go one more back and let's go to settings one more time and let's change one more thing and you have themes as well You can get these themes from the Play Store the CM10 themes. I believe will work with this so you can obviously get more themes from the Play Store um, And let's go into navigation bar and here you can uh, change the color Let's change the glow actually this time and let's change it to green so Now it should be red all right, so now I can see it's red, and I want to press down on it. Let me zoom in right there. So when I press down on it, you can see it red. You might be able to pick that up, maybe not. You slightly may be able to pick that up, but it's red. So you have all these options to change with your, to mess around with your phone, and to make it the way you want. And you can do a lot of things with this. You can make it match the glow and the colors and all that match with your um the rest of your phone. So I really like that. And also you have wallpapers. So let's go into wallpapers, and they have their own uh, wallpapers right here as well. So you have a ton of these, um, just their Xenon wallpapers, Xenon HD wallpapers that come with it that you have the option to um, get. So there's a ton of these. Um, and that's about it, guys. Um, that's just the basic wrap-up of the Xenon HD ROM. Try it out. Speedy, good battery life, and a lot of customization that you get with this ROM as well. And it's running on 4.2.1, so you can you probably end up loving this as well. Um, work, everything works great, no problems whatsoever as far as I've been using it. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you found this video helpful and you want to see more RAM reviews for your Galaxy Nexus and you will be notified when I upload more uh, Galaxy Nexus um, RAM reviews, uh, click on the subscri subscribe button down below and give me a big old thumbs up if you found this video helpful, as that does really help me out um, by, by clicking on the bottom left corner of the like button. And that's about it guys, and um, the ROM is located in the description below, so just click on that link and I'll bring you to the um, link to the ROM where you can download it and get more information, a little bit more. And that's about it guys, thanks for watching, I will see you next time, peace.